This is a dry ice bomb and in a moment I'll show you how easy it is to make one. I will also show you what happens if such a bomb goes off in your hand. Interested? Then stay tuned. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide and at room temperature it sublimates, which is going directly from solid to gas phase. This process is even more intense if dry ice is immersed into water. If this process takes place in a sealed container, like a plastic bottle, then the pressure rapidly increases. Eventually the bottle material fails and this leads to a huge explosion. Now, if you are going to make this bomb, then there are a few things you should know to do it safely. The most important thing is to make sure the bomb doesn't go off in your hand. And for that, you need to delay the explosion. This can be done by using a larger 2 liter plastic bottle. Fill a bit over half of the bottle with water and be sure you have plenty of air left in it. After that, throw a lot of dry ice in it. If you put too little, then the bottle might not explode and remains dangerous for a long time. Before sealing the bottle, I would recommend squeezing the bottle as well. That way, you can feel the pressure building up in the sealed bottle. And if you can feel that the bottle has become solid hard, then that's the moment where you should be already 10 meters away from it, as it is about to explode. Before setting up the bomb, make sure it is outdoors, not in a city and away from windows. Also, see to it that no children or animals are nearby who might want to investigate the unexploded bottle. Also, I would recommend having an air gun available nearby in the case the bottle does not blow. That way, you can defuse it from a distance by shooting a hole in it. This bomb is still quite unpredictable and in order to demonstrate what happens if things go wrong, I prepared an artificial hand by putting sausages inside a rubber globe. As you can see, the hand is quite messed up and in a real scenario, the blast may rip off fingers, dislocate joints, break bones and cause severe damage to the whole hand as the release shockwave also causes destruction on the cellular level. Thank you for watching this video, check out the description and subscribe for more awesome stuff in the future.